Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 8 amazing 2024 upcoming bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF Concept motorcycle. The CBF Concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak, Honda has been forced to reveal the Concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF Concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro, the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern, the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader-class Neosports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque, and it's paired to a six-speed transmission. At the moment, Honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the CBF concept into production. The F850G's debuted in 2017 and received an update in 2021. So you'd think it's still fairly new with no need for an update. But the folks at BMW Motorrad think otherwise, which is why the German giant has debuted an overhauled F900G's for 2024. In addition, there's also an updated F900G's Adventure and F800G's, replacement for the F750G's. All bikes have several noteworthy updates in almost all aspects, but the F900G's is simply the headline maker. So here's everything you need to know. Diving right in, the US spec F850G's employed an 853cc, twin-cylinder mill that produced 90 horsepower, at 8,000 rpm, and 63 pound-feet, at 6,250 rpm. That has now made way to welcome an 895cc, twin-cylinder mill on the F900G's. Though identical to the F900XR, it's been tuned to churn 105 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 68.6 pound-feet at 6,750 rpm for extra fun, all sent to the wheel via a six-speed transmission. With the added horsepower, the F900G's is now more powerful than its our tribal, the 94-horsepower Triumph Tiger 900 Rally, and on par with the KTM 890 Adventure. Like the engine, the underpinnings have gone under the knife too. The F900G's has an all-new tubular subframe, partnered by top-shelf show upside-down forks and monoshock. The suspension is now fully adjustable and has considerably more travel at each end. Wondering why there's a new subframe? Well, weight reduction. The company claims the 900G's is a whopping 30 pounds lighter than the 850. Twenty twenty four Yamaha Tracer nine GT Plus Yamaha Motor USA officially unveiled the twenty twenty four Tracer nine GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sport touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar link unified brake system, a semi active KYB suspension, a six axis inertial measurement unit AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped.
Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual-overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 mm by 62.1 mm. It has a 6-speed gearbox, an assist and slipper clutch, and an up-and-down quickshifter. The F850 GS debuted in 2017 and received an update in 2021. So you'd think it's still fairly new with no need for an update. But the folks at BMW Motorrad think otherwise, which is why the German giant has debuted an overhauled F900 GS for 2024. In addition, there's also an updated F900 GS Adventure and F800 GS, replacement for the F750 GS. All bikes have several noteworthy updates in almost all aspects, but the F900 GS is simply the headline maker. So here's everything you need to know. Diving right in, the US spec F850 GS employed an 853 cubic centimeters twin cylinder mill that produced 90 horsepower at 8000 rpm and 63 pound feet at 6250 rpm. That has now made way to welcome an 895 cubic centimeters twin cylinder mill on the F900 GS. Though identical to the F900 XR, it's been tuned to churn 105 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 68.6 pound feet at 6,750 rpm for extra fun, all sent to the wheel via a six speed transmission. With the added horsepower, the F900 GS is now more powerful than its arch rival, the 94 HP Triumph Tiger 900 Rally, and on par with the KTM 890 Adventure. Like the engine, the underpinnings have gone under the knife too. The F900 GS has an all-new tubular subframe, partnered by Top Shelf Showa upside-down forks and monoshock. The suspension is now fully adjustable and has considerably more travel at each end. Wondering why there's a new subframe? Well, weight reduction. The company claims the 900 GS is a whopping 30 pounds lighter than the 850. The esteemed tradition of crafting remarkable special edition motorcycles in Varese, Italy, continues with the introduction of the 2024 MV Augusta Brudale 1000 RR Assen. This exceptional motorcycle is an integral part of the Tabac Classic GP hosted at the iconic TT Circuit Assen, a celebration proudly supported by MV Augusta. Building upon the success of last year's Brudale 1000 RR, which underwent rigorous testing in Italy, the 2024 Assen edition boasts a series of enhancements and refinements. While the inline-4 engine remains unaltered, the quickshifter has received both mechanical and software updates, enhancing its performance capabilities. An exclusive special parts kit is provided, exclusively intended for track use, which includes aero-titanium mufflers paired with a high-performance ECU that elevates the peak output to an impressive 212 horsepower at 13,600 rpm. Additional distinctive components include a carbon fiber cover for the pillion perch, meticulously CNC-machined brake and clutch levers, and an exquisite aluminum fuel cap. 
For road legal enthusiasts, the motorcycle is adorned with carbon fiber rotobox wheels, a luxurious blue Alcantara seat, a meticulously polished two-tone fuel tank, an array of eye-catching silver accents, an abundance of carbon fiber embellishments, and custom model-specific special edition graphics. MV Augusta continues its streak of limited editions paying homage to history, brands, racers, and now, a track. The price of 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be $9,999 in USA expectedly, all specs. Features and price on this page are unofficial, official price, and specs will be update on official announcement. 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be launched in 2023. It will be available in attractive iridium gray metallic and green metallic colors. A much anticipated addition to Honda's Rebel series is the Rebel 1100, which is scheduled to be on sale in 2024. The Rebel 1100 is a cruiser motorbike that blends cutting-edge style with a strong engine, cutting-edge technology, and comfortable ergonomics. This summary will shed light on a number of features of the new Honda Rebel 1100. Engine The Honda Rebel 1100's potent engine is its standout feature. A 1,084cc parallel twin engine, with enough power and torque for both city commuting and long-distance touring, is anticipated to be included. The Honda Africa twin engine, renowned for its dependable performance, is most likely the source of the engine's inspiration. Riders can anticipate an interesting riding experience, a snappy throttle, and excellent acceleration. Design and Style The Honda Rebel 1100 has a sophisticated design that combines traditional cruiser looks with a dash of modern flair. It conveys the feeling of casual riding thanks to its low-slung silhouette, broad handlebars, and relaxing seating posture. The Rebel 1100 is an eye-catching motorcycle with quality finishes, LED lighting, and sleek lines that is sure to draw attention. Comfort and Ergonomics The Honda Rebel 1100 is expected to offer a roomy, relaxing riding position because it was designed with the comfort of the user in mind. Long rides will be more comfortable thanks to the ergonomic layout, and the seat and suspension will be supportive enough. Honda might also provide accessory choices for customization, enabling riders to modify the bike to their tastes. Technology and Features Riders can anticipate cutting-edge safety features like advanced braking systems, traction control, and possibly even cornering ABS for improved stability. Honda is expected to outfit the Rebel 1100 with a range of cutting-edge technology and features, including a full-color TFT instrument panel, integrated navigation, multiple riding modes, and connectivity options. Twenty twenty four Kawasaki ZH two. You better hang on tight. The twenty twenty four Kawasaki ZH two is outrageously quick, deceptively smooth, and sounds like an angry velociraptor. A BMW Type two fifty five Compressor won the Isle of Man TT in nineteen thirty six, proving that supercharged motorcycles were as reliable and faster than their normally aspirated competitors. Had the killjoys at FIM not decreed a ban on forced induction from road racing after World War II, super and turbocharged motorcycles might have become the norm rather than the exception. At the time, winning races assured a manufacturer's success at the dealerships, and the new regulations deterred further research and development on the subject. For decades would pass before turbochargers would grasp the forced induction baton, initiating a new race. With the introduction of the first semi-production turbocharged motorcycle in 1978, Kawasaki Z1RTC led a resurgence of interest in forced induction engines. Other manufacturers soon followed suit, spawning a series of new turbocharged machines. 
but chronic turbo lag required clairvoyant throttle control to manage their erratic power delivery, and bulky, impractical intercoolers ensured the turbocharged motorcycle era was short-lived. Another 40 years would pass before Kawasaki finally solved the forced induction riddle, releasing its first supercharged Ninja H2 in 2015. With the H2 lineup's continued success, it appears that this time, the blowers are here to stay. Kawasaki cracked the forced air induction conundrum with its brilliantly simple, planetary drive centrifugal supercharger, developed in conjunction with its heavy industries aerospace division. Compressing air in a forced system causes it to heat up, which reduces its oxygen content and combustibility, requiring an intercooler to reduce the air temperature before it reaches the engine. The secret to Kawasaki's innovative design is its exceptional thermal efficiency. The H2 supercharger attains very high impeller speeds without requiring an intercooler, adding notable boost with minimal weight and complexity while bestowing a unique personality on the H2 lineup. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes, Mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels, Mode 2 with ABS activated only for the front wheel, and Mode 3 with ABS turned off completely. Regarding other returning Yamaha models for 2024, there are no significant updates or changes in specifications for the 2024 Yamaha Super Tenere ES, 2024 XT250, and 2024 TW200. They will continue to be available at Yamaha dealerships without any notable revisions. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 will be offered in two colors, Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 and Shadow Gray in October 2023. The starting MSRP for the T7 is $10,799. The pricing for the 2024 Yamaha Super Tenere ES is yet to be determined, but for reference, the 2023 Super Ten starts at $16,299. The 2024 XT250 starts at $5,399, and the 2024 TW200 starts at $4,999. However, keep in mind that pricing and availability may vary by region. The 2024 Tenere 700 has a liquid-cooled 689 cubic centimeters inline twin derived from the MT-07 naked sport bike that features Yamaha's crossplane crankshaft concept 270-degree crank.
After 3,000 miles of mixed riding for a tour test of a 2021 Tenera 700, our reviewer had the following to say. In my local mountains or out in the desert, on pavement or off, the T7 has been an excellent partner for exploration, corner carving, and flat out moving down the road. The Tenere 700 has a fully adjustable 43mm inverted fork with 8.3 inches of travel and a rear single shock with remote adjustable preload, rebound damping, and 7.9 inches of travel.